Good morning, kids. I want to share with you one of my favorite books it's called The Day the Crayons Quit. Maybe you've read it too. It's a story about a boy called Duncan whose crayons all quit because they've got complaints about how they're being used. Gray crayon says that it's so much work to color big animals like elephants. Yellow and orange argue about who really is the color of the sun. The white crayon is upset he never gets to color anything in, and black is upset that he only gets to uh, trace the outside of things. So it's a really funny story. Books can make us laugh. Sometimes books can make us sad. Books can draw us into the story and make us have a longing to be part of what they describe. And of course, that's also true for my real favorite book, the Bible. And I'm sure you've read, you've read some of the Bible as well. Today in the Gospel, we hear a wonderful story from Luke chapter 24. The link is down below. Maybe you can read with your mum and dad. And it's a story of two of Jesus' friends who, who are walking away from Jerusalem really sad because you might remember two weeks ago when we heard the story of Jesus coming back to life at Easter that they found the tomb empty, empty like a hollow Easter egg. But they didn't yet know that that meant that Jesus was alive. So these two friends of Jesus are walking away really sad, thinking Jesus is dead and it's all over. But then Jesus comes and meets them as they walk on this road to a town called Emmaus. And he comes and talks to them and he describes to them and explains to them things from the Bible that are about himself. And later on, the disciples say to each other, wow, weren't our hearts burning within us when he spoke to us about the scriptures on the road? And that idea of our hearts burning within us is not burning on fire in a bad way. It means being excited and warm and energized. And that's the power that the Bible has. The stories we hear in the Bible, which are true, actually have that power to draw us in, to help us be excited about God, to make us want to be there with Jesus and to know more about how we can be good followers of Jesus. So I want to encourage you to read the Bible sometimes. Read it either by yourself if you're old enough or read it with mum and dad or an older brother and sister if you need help. And you probably know lots of the stories about Jesus in the Bible already. But I want to say that's only a very small part of the Bible. The stories of Jesus in the Gospels are only about this much of the whole Bible. There is so much more to read, so much more to get excited about. And I'm sure that in the years ahead, you will learn some more of those stories. You get to read more of the Bible for yourself. I love reading the Bible. And sometimes I had that experience that Jesus' two friends had, where they feel their hearts burning with excitement and joy and wonder as they read the Word of God. So as you read the Word of God, I hope that you'll feel that too. So today I invite you to think about, do you have a favorite story from the Bible? One that really makes you interested and excited. Perhaps go and read that again or talk to mum and dad about it and ask mum and dad if they've got a favourite story of the Bible that they can share with you. God bless you. Goodbye.